to your attention um, in Google Earth um, what it looks like from an aerial view um, looking down to the surface. This right here is um, a lake, and then the river comes along here, and it's down and curves. It, it takes on a, um, a weavy snake look. It keeps going through here. These are two different images taken from two different dates. That's why they, one of them has more light and the other doesn't but if you keep watching this how this winds around this is a river okay we can see many 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 of these from the air and satellite images of earth here's another example of a river. <clears throat> this is a wider river, comes into a lake. This is a lake. Okay, you notice how you can see the shoreline going around the lake. And of course, the roads. Let's see if we can find some more rivers. There's one. Winds way down through here. This looks like it splits into a couple different branches, but then eventually comes back in, which would probably leave a small little um, land patches or islands. This keeps running down this way, goes under the road, keeps going through. Curves around this little island. Under the road. Keeps going out this way. And it branches into two directions. Quite a few, but two main directions. One is this way. And one goes this way. So, what is my point here? Well, what I did was... I... found some satellite images online of Venus <clears throat> and I downloaded them into a folder and then I overlaid them on the Google Earth globe now here is the one image which is in almost the same color that they had given it although I did some alterations to it as far as color um, So what I did also, too, instead of keeping it colored, I made it um, grayscale. I turned it into a grayscale. So here's the color one. And we're going to get rid of that one for now. And here's the grayscale. 
Now also in the grayscale, after I turned it into a grayscale, I made it a negative. After I'd done this, many things stood out. Okay, now in viewing this, I've marked a few spots on here that will show you what appears to be rivers, running water, canals. Okay, many people say, well, many scientists say that, oh, Venus had water a long time ago, but it all boiled away and because it's so hot and so close to the sun. I don't know what the complete theory is on that. If this had happened such a long time ago, these canals and rivers, or these lines that are snaky looking, would not still appear to be dark trenches. They would reflect light a lot more. They wouldn't absorb it as water does. Water does reflect light, but at a certain angle to the light. So, I found these in this image. And this image number, you can get it offline. I believe it's, I don't have it right now, but if you search for it on the NASA website, you can find it. Now this here is also a river. Never mind all these other things. These are from the Earth globe behind it. Um, but this this is a river running along here. Let's see if I can get rid of these photos. There we go. Now as we're working is with the Venus image, the image of Venus, the satellite image of Venus. Okay. If you look very carefully, especially where this runs down into here, you can see the shoreline. It, no, it's maybe not a beach shoreline, but it is a shoreline running up against um, this hill or rocks. This is a sh this is a river. This is shoreline. Let's go to the next example in this Venus saddle overlay. Here again is Venus with winding rivers. Now, if anybody has a thinking ability of their own, they'll understand that water means life. Water is essential to most 99% of life on Earth. Okay. Let's look at this one again over here. Okay, this here is all lake. As you can see, there is a shoreline right here. It runs right along here. Follow it all the way down. What you're seeing is the reflection right here of this 
in the surface of the water. Okay, other things you're seeing here is water coming off this highest plateau and running down the side. These did not turn up until after I grayscaled the image and projected it into a inverted or negative form. This is all lake, all water. Okay, this is water running off these ridges, these hills. Water. Water. Lake. Shoreline. And this could be actually shallow water where you're able to see the bottom of the lake a little easier through the satellite imagery. Now, I know many of you say, well, yeah, you're probably dreaming but when I look at earth examples and compare them to these I think that the dream is actually reality and a lot of people are, are hardcore to not accept it because we've been taught in a different way now this is interesting this is water running off and has actually created a sediment buildup right here where water will go this way or that way. This is a lake. This is a lake. This sediment coming off of here has actually built a land bridge or a, a, a cutoff point here for these two sections. Okay. Now, on this image, and you can find this on NASA website. I found another interesting spot that I think tells me that not only is there water on Venus, but there is an intelligence. There's actually two spots. Here's one of them. These, I believe, is some type of vegetation or trees or something because it's in rows. Okay, before I turn this into a negative, these actually, these ridges right here looked like they were uh, canals or crevices. But they, you know, they'd stop and then there'd be this little patch. But if, you know, and the nice thing about satellite image and loading it into Google Earth as an overlay is because you can zoom in on it, you can switch it around, you can change the orientation of the image. Okay. But let's head over to the other spot that I'd found that also indicates that to me there is an intelligence. And this is a signal, I believe, that they're saying that, hey, anybody who's flying by and, and capturing images... Um, how do we dismiss this? Out here in this vast, which I believe this is water, um, there are these round objects, which at first appear to me like um, how they do some of the farming on the fields is, is a round uh, section so that they can use their tractors in a circle instead of going back and forth into a square um, or a rectangle field but um, it's pretty interesting that these are lined up in a pattern that um, isn't found anywhere else in this area these objects ain't like uh, you know all over the place this tells me that yes there is an intelligence on Venus and all the bullcrap we've been told is lies